What's going on, guys? Hey, Coach, how are you? Doing okay. good. Coach, give, give, me, give us your impression of today's scrimmage. I thought defense flew around and made a lot of plays, specifically early, you know, right from the jump. I think we got eight yards on the first play and had an incompletion on second down, and then they stopped us on the third and two. And, uh, and you know, it kind of set the tone for the whole day right there. Because, uh, you know, I thought it took the offense a while to get going, which is credit to our defensive kids. They've been extremely physical all spring ball. And I think we're well on our way to being back to the nasty bunch. I think offensively we've got a lot of talent. I thought uh, you saw both quarterbacks do some really good things today. I really think they played well. Uh, I think from an assignment standpoint and, uh, you know, athletic ability standpoint, they did a lot of good things. Uh, I just think the execution around them was not always up to speed. And uh, that's something that's been kind of plagued us. we got to continue to clean up. Oh, I thought we got some really good kicking game work, too. Y'all saw us work punt and field goal, and uh, we've really, really taken some major strides. We're going to play our best players in the kicking game. And, uh, boy, our kids have really embraced that mentality. Coach, could you talk about um, the added pressure that goes along with having a live quarterback, not only for the quarterback, but for your offensive lineman, a whole new sense of urgency? Yeah, you know, I hope not, Glenn, because it's just football. You know, maybe it is. But, golly, I hope they come out there and play their butt off every day at practice, even when he's not live, you know, because that's, that's the mentality we're trying to get. Maybe it is, but but I would hope not. You know, uh, I, I just want them to be live so they have to play, so they can use their athletic ability. Y'all saw today they're both really good athletes that can really evade people. So when you don't let them be live, you're, you're, you're taking some of their skill set away. And we've got to, you know, when you're competing for a job, you'd like to be able to be like, It'd be like if Larry Bird couldn't shoot a three-pointer. You know, if you take that away from him, that takes a lot of his game away. So, uh, I was proud to let him go live today. Proud we stayed healthy. And uh, it was a good good day for the quarterbacks moving forward for their development. Coach, I saw you uh, gave the team a first down today when the, the refs uh, missed a call for uh, uh, offsides. Don't you wish that was, a, a you know, an added addition moving forward? Well, I don't know if Malik was offsides or not, but I do know this. I know he timed our snap count up perfect. And, uh, you know, there are some times when you practice 13, 12 days in a row that, that, that the defense has an advantage. You know, they know all your snap counts. And I just thought it was unfair, so I called him offsides. But I, I get to do that when I want to. So, Coach, uh, y'all got 12 out of the way, I believe, if I got my number right. Can you kind of talk about – how you feel about where you're at with your install. I noticed you add a little something every day, it looks like. Yeah, you know, we are 12 down, so that's 80%. I mean, we're pretty much installed up outside of, like, goal line short yardage. We haven't spent any time with that this spring. We're not going to. That's a whole special package that we can install over the summer and all that. We want to just get it. You know, you probably play, I don't know, 20 snaps of goal line short yardage all year long in a football season. So, that's a small deal, but it's an important deal. But, uh, you know, we've gotten everything in that's a foundational piece in all phases. And, uh, you know, I feel good about it. I think this program's headed in the right direction. Now, are we a finished product? No. But uh, I think we're certainly headed in the right direction, not just from a football standpoint, from a, from a complete program standpoint, from, you know, getting our fan base back bought in to getting our season tickets back up to getting people back believing that Southern Miss and being a Southern Miss football player and a Southern Miss football fan means something, you know, and it's something we ought to be proud of. I think I think we've got the whole program trending in the right direction like it should be, and I'm proud of that. Coach, with about a week left of spring practice, you know, what, what are you really looking for at this point from some, from some of the positions as well as the guys? Uh, you know, there's a few young kids that uh, are playing college football for the first time that I would like to see take some major steps forward in this last week, uh, you know, because you're fixed to not be young anymore, right? I mean, now you've gone through a fall and a spring. You can't, you can't lean on that crutch of being young anymore. I would like to see our offense clean up some execution. Uh, you know, we ought to be, I think, executing at a higher level than what we are right now. So that's something we've got to – fix and uh you know so those are probably two things looking at uh with these last three days coach um 
Coach, we talked to Daquan Bailey Brown a couple of weeks ago, and I just wonder, because he wasn't here last year, just what he kind of brings to y'all and just how excited you are for him to kind of be a part of the program, just his overall talent and everything. Yeah, he's got a lot of speed, a lot of make you miss ability. He's a kid that really, really wants to be a good player. He's extremely driven. He's a smiler. Uh, he's a he's a Christian young man that has great faith. He's very outward with his faith. Uh, he lifts others up around him. And, uh, you know, I think the future could be bright with him. And, and then Dominique Kuan, who we're going to talk to here in a second, what's kind of, you know, What's he going to provide for y'all up front on the defensive side? Q has, has shown some really good pass rush ability through spring ball. And, uh, you know, he's got to get a little better at hunkering down in there when he's got to play an inside eye technique. But he has shown really good pass rush ability off the edge. He's also a kid that is just a really, really good kid that's driven to be successful. And uh, I kid with him all the time. I tell him he's my favorite person from Minnesota, you know. <laughs> Now let's be honest. I don't know anybody else in Minnesota, okay? But no, I like I like Q, man. He's got a chance to be a good one for us. He's embraced the AIE mentality. Coach, I wanted to ask about Trey. Uh, obviously, last year he was very much thrown into the fire. I mean, now that he's kind of had a chance to, you know, start learning this new system, how do you think he's taken it, being you know the most experienced quarter quarterback in the room? He's done everything he can do to be the best he can be. You know, he, he works extremely hard. He's a college graduate, so he's up here all the time watching extra. He's had a really, really good spring. And, uh, you know, I think he's got a chance to have a great year for us. I think T's done, you know, the same thing. He's a little younger. Uh, it's been a little harder transition for him because he is young, right? But I think you've seen him take some major strides. thought you saw him make a lot of plays today. Yep. Uh, Dominique. Just tell us how your spring's been going so far. Uh, and obviously with the new coaching staff and everything, just how you guys have kind of embraced that and, and how excited you are for this upcoming season. Um, my spring's been going pretty good. It was kind of easy to pick up the new playbook and uh, just start, start to learn all the new things, get all the bad habits out from from uh, the previous season and stuff so it's been it's been going pretty good i had a i had a decent day today did, did what i could did my job and yeah we've been adjusting to the to the playbook pretty good tom could you talk about what coach, coach lacy brings to y'all's room and what his emphasis has been with you guys uh coach lacy has bought a lot of good stuff to the room a lot of good stuff up to this point he's he's been uh, top two D line coach for me, really, because he's he's bought a lot of new things. He's he's been really detailed about run, pass rush, stuff like that. It's it's been a lot of it's been a lot of uh, grinding on 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 just the, the little details and technique and everything that that we didn't have before. So things are a lot better right now. Uh. Dom, I guess just um, what are your impressions early from uh, that offense with Coach Hall and what he's in, what's he's kind of installed with with Trey and, and T and the other guys over there? What are you what are your impressions early from what they're doing on the offensive side? Oh, um, on the offensive side, we we've been looking pretty good. For what I see, I didn't really know the uh, offensive playbook last year, but we've been really strong on on getting the ball down the field. Really, really widening the field and giving our running back space to run and really work on the field. So that's that's just what I know from my perspective right now. Anything else? Uh, yeah, I'll just ask. Um, obviously, you guys get a couple defensive guys back. You get Jock back in the mix. What is? Uh, I mean, how strong do you guys feel up front? Um, I mean, Coach Lacey has talked about you guys want to be the toughest defensive line that your offense has to face in practice. What, what, just how strong does that unit feel um, coming up for the season? Well, coming back with with Jock and, and Keen coming back, especially with the front line, we, we kind of have that depth now 
But with better coaching, everybody can start to rotate and, and play a little more. Last year, we had a problem with just having one rotation. And, and, and now it's just a lot better because we can learn, learn a lot of new things and, and just be tough up front. Hey, how y'all doing? Good, Trey. How are you, man? What's up, Trey? Good, good. Doing well, yes, sir. Just talk about how things went for you today, Trey. Um, I thought they, they went well for the most part. Um, I thought uh, I executed uh, pretty decent. Uh, you know, missed a few things, but for the most part, I thought it was decent. Can you talk about how you uh, affected the defense, their pressures with your, with, it, with your ability to get out of the pocket and use your feet? Yeah, just uh, just having a mentality of not getting sacked, you know, I think, uh, you know, just keeping plays alive and, you know, just getting the ball to our playmakers. And I thought the O-line did a good job picking up a lot of things. So for the most part, it, it, it wasn't it wasn't hard because the O-line did such a good job. Trey, do you feel like you're finally settling into this offense yet? Yeah, I, I really do. I really do. Um, it's just starting to click click a lot better. Um, I mean, we mostly have everything in. I think Coach Hall said we're like 80% in. So, um, yeah, I just think I'm, I'm I'm a lot more comfortable with everything. You know, just my reads, it's, everything's just happening a lot quicker, moving with urgency. So, you know, it's been it's been pretty smooth here lately. Trey, um, I know you guys have a few new weapons on, you know, at least with your uh, wide receivers. Can you tell us a little bit about Daquan Bailey Brown and what he's going to bring to y'all? Just how you know his different skill sets he provides. Yeah, Day Day can uh, he can go now. I, I don't know if y'all see him, but he can really really go, and um, his routes are really good. I mean, we have a lot of a lot of great guys, a lot of great receivers. I think we're we're pretty deep. Uh, with the ones and twos right now at the receiver. So, uh, but yeah, Day Day's been coming on well. He's been doing his thing. So uh, I'm just excited to keep him, uh, uh, see him keep developing and stuff. So it's been good. You stated before in the press, in talking to you after practice, that this is the first spring where you haven't had, that you haven't dealt with baseball. How do you feel about that now? As you kind of come close to a, I guess you're getting close to the end of it. Yeah, how do you feel now? You know, missing out on baseball this year. Um, are you you feel better about yourself going forward from here? Yeah, I think um, I know coming into it like uh, you know, because I I played baseball probably I played baseball since I was four, so I played baseball for a long time, long long time. So uh, it was I thought it was going to be a, a lot harder of a transition, just not you know not having a the flip flop uh, back, but uh, I think it's been I think it's been really good for me and uh, just my development, just just uh, just my development and everything. So you know, of course, I miss baseball uh, from time to time, and I'll I'll watch it. But you know, I think uh, I think this this is the best thing for my future at the moment. What position did you play in baseball? I was an outfielder. I played right in center field. Um, we were talking to Dom just a second ago. From your perspective, what, uh, how strong is that defensive line going to be for y'all? How, how kind of tough have they made it so far in practice? They're good now. They, um, they come off that edge fast. And um, I know Dom didn't get me today, so I messed with him a little bit. But uh, they, they did a good job of making me have an escape and, and do different things. So they were, they were getting pressure a couple times. I think, I think we got a good D-line. And um, it's it's hard sometimes with some of those outside zones because they do they do a really good job and they try not to get reached. So I think they've been doing a pretty good job. You went up against the defense last year in practice. Um, what has been the biggest? I guess what position group has been the biggest improvement to you going against them this spring? Uh, which group is the best? Is as is the toughest to go against right now? Um, I think. Uh, the secondary, the secondary has done a, um, a really good job um, with the new schemes and everything. Um, and I think, you know, they have another year experience, you know, E. Scott, you know, uh, a lot of those, uh, those defensive backs. I know Jay Stanley just got here. So um, they've been doing a really good job. 
And, um, you know, like I said, experience always, it helps Trump a lot of things. And, you know, they've seen a lot of different things and they've played. So when you have, you know, you have that playing experience, it helps a lot. So uh, I think they've been really smooth. Uh, we got, like I said, we have a really good receiver core. So they go, go up against really good guys every every day. So I think they've been doing really well. And and the back, I think we're really good, we're really deep uh, at the linebacker position too. So uh, I think the defense as a whole has done a really good job this spring. Anything else? Uh, I'll just ask finally, Trey, just um, obviously with a new coach and a new coaching staff, things are, are a little bit different. How have you, how's the entire team kind of embraced uh, Coach Hall and just how excited are you all for kind of a, almost like a new beginning here, um, you know, coming up in the fall? Uh, I think it's been a good adjustment. Um, uh, teams I've been on in the past, you know, it's, it's kind of hard when you get a, a new coaching staff because you have to buy into different things to, to a new thing. And, you know, sometimes, you know, your trust can be broken from past coaches and things like that. But um, I think Coach Hall is, and his staff have come in and established themselves. They've done a really good job, and, and they've gained that trust from me and uh, I think really the whole team. So I think everybody's really bought in.